Hi. Okay, I'm making one element of these cakes. And that, right now, I'm working on um, smushing some raspberries for the pink icing that goes on Ruby's cake. And, and this is the first element I make. And there's so many more. And I am so impressed with both Max and Ruby that they have made such complicated cakes. So I'm also, I made some buttercream roses, which I learned how to do about 30 years ago. And I haven't done it since. And I thought, ah, I remember how, but I'm really struggling. And I wanna hold it up, this up, but I can't, so I'm, this is gonna be crazy time, but I'm gonna move this. <gasps> Ooh, scary. So here they are. <laughs> they are not beautiful in the least, but, um, and I'm super impressed with Ruby. Though she doesn't make hers, does she? She buys them. Hmm. Okay. Step next. Here I am, ready to get down to business on Max's cake. Actually, I am doing them in tandem because both of them require so many components. I got myself some gummy worm molds. Never in did I ever think I would need gummy worm molds, but I've got two. And it uses um, a pre-packaged gelatin flavored product. Try not to, anyway, it uses jello. I want to make some without using jello and with um, mango. Part of me is crying that I'm not gonna be eating the mango. Um, and I'm making the stuff. I'm gonna I'm going to risk moving my camera. Here we go. Here we go. So I have my gummy worm mold and I, the lady said it, the recipe says it makes 40 and I don't have 40. Um, yeah, if I burn this mango juice, I will not be pleased. Okay, I'll check back in once I get things stirring together. Okay, I have my mango jelly to make the worms with in a ketchup bottle, squeezy ketchup bottle. Let me see, well, I don't even know what I'm filming. These little molds, they have eyes, they have eyes. I don't know if you can, so again, don't, oh, they have two eyes, ah, so cute. And if they don't work, I'm gonna buy gummy worms. Okay, thing two, another decoration. This one will be for both Ruby and Max's cake. I am going to make some royal icing. Um, and from the oil, the oil icing, <laughs> from the royal icing, I'm going to make um, hearts, stars, those are both for Ruby's cake, and caterpillars for Max's cake. I really don't want um, real caterpillar icing. Okay, I have elected to do a half recipe of the um, royal icing recipe that I have because the royal icing recipe that I have calls for a whole bag of confectioner's sugar, eight cups or two pounds. And I just do not want to make that many hearts. Um, and then I found that I had some rose water. So I did, I had the hearts, but I did the hearts rose water. And I, I'm pretty sure I used too much because I can smell them. I am a caterpillar. Oh my God, I just cleaned up and I made another mess. And that's kind of where I am. You know, I'm thinking about it. How do you make caterpillar icing? And what it sounds like to me, I know it, it, it's a mud cake in the book, but if you were gonna make caterpillar, I, and, it, and it, from what it looks like, you just got caterpillar stuck in there or maybe put on there. It sounds like you smush them up and then, you know, they're in there. I use the luster powder for the stars, and um, I don't have a brush. My kids used it before when we were decorating cookies at Christmas, but I can't remember what, how they put the, the powder on. And um, it, okay, I do have a brush now that I think of it. I just didn't get it out, but I, did, I forgot about it. Um, and I got kind of lazy. So I just, okay, it's much smaller than this, but if it would be like this, I did this. So they're just like, pop, pop, pop. 
of silver and the rest is white. I'm gonna hold it up. If they all fall off, uh huh, on me. Yeah, I won't be laughing. Okay, some sugar just fall. Okay, all right. Oh, I can see them from far away. They kind of look caterpillary. And I was thinking about this because the cakes are gonna end up looking, you know, not perfect. This is the first time I try a lot of these things, but they're in the book. They're made by kids. So it's okay. Hi, Max and Ruby partners. Um, I'm back in the kitchen. Another day. I was looking at my hair like, I always look the same. <laughs> okay, that doesn't matter. Um, and I'm going to do cookies, chocolate cookies, to crumble on Max's cake to make it look like dirt. I thought about buying these, but couldn't do it. Um, why couldn't I do it? Uh, because I'm a baking snob and I want to make as many of these things as I can part. So here we go on a chocolate day. That's what this is. Max's cookies will be chocolate because they have to look like dirt and his cake is a chocolate cake because dirt. <laughs> Hi, I'm very, very excited because I have gotten all the elements done. Today I, um, I made the the um, white cake. So I, I have two layers. Now I have butter on my fingers. And I blitzed. Did I bake the cookies today? Yes, yes I did. And I made dirt for Max's cake. Um, I have the silver sugar star, or silver star, she doesn't call them sugar. I just made them out of sugar. I have the pink hearts. I have, um, were, uh, caterpillars for Max's cake. She is Ruby. I have the butter fluff, raspberry fluff icing. I have Max's chocolate cake. I have the chocolate ganache for Max's cake. And I have gummy worms. And all that's left is red hot marshmallow squirters. Hi, it's Diana and it is red hot marshmallow squirter day. And I can't believe it. And I'm scared because I've only made marshmallows twice and they only worked once and I'm going to be changing it up because they got to be squirt red hot juice. So I, I bought red hot. This is, this is um, one of the, I'm trying to think if it's the only thing that I bought and not going to try to make. I thought about trying to make red hot juice for the squirting part. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to buy Red Hots and melt them. I don't even know if they will melt. It's such an adventure. Let's find oh out. Oh my God. I have been blending marshmallow juice for I don't know how long. I don't even know if it's going to work. The I almost ditched this one because it didn't look like it was ever going to thicken and gelatinized sugar water was flying all over my kitchen. I have it all over my shirt. Um, but, and I put it aside and I went to look for the recipe I used the second time. And the only reason I came back to this is because I looked at the dishes in my sink and I thought, I do not want to clean that and then do it again and clean that again. So currently, let me see. It, at least it's not spitting it out anymore. It's much more opaque. Um, it's said to blend it until it holds its own shape. I do not see that ever happening. So what I might do is blend it until it gets to be, so like right now I'm like about five cups, until it gets to be like seven cups, and then pour it into mini muffin molds, which is what I was gonna use anyway, but I thought I'd be spooning it in. And then just hope that works. Um, because, like I said, I don't want to do double the dishes. A little discouraged, a little annoyed, a little determined. Marshmallow, red hot marshmallow squirters. Red hot marshmallow squirters. Oh my gosh, I am so glad that I didn't want to wash dishes. Because I think this is working. It's gotten much bigger. Look at it. It's super fluffy. I don't know if it's going to ever hold its own shape, but we're, we're sure going to try. 
I got hopes. Okay, okay. So either I did it or I quit. <laughs> it, I, I put it in the muffin things and I kind of like, oh, I'll just get two of them ready. Mini muffins, each having 24 muffins. So I have 24, 48 muffin cavities filled with marshmallow fluff. Plus I put some on a plate. I get a bunch, but just to get it out, ooh, it looks like a pink egg, just to get it out of the bowl. So the marshmallows, either I gave up, I think I might have said this already, either I gave up or they got there, but um, I quit blending. I added some blitzed up Red Hots so that there's little bits in there. And I had also added some Red Hots that melted. So the marshmallows right now, if they become marshmallow, they're pink and in muffin cups, like I, like I said, and they're in muffin cups because I'm gonna have to fill them or I'm gonna try to fill them. Okay, so I, I think if I turned it, they would ooze. I do not know if they're gonna set. I don't know. And um, right now I have, I, I had um, heated up some Red Hots to melt. <laughs> and when they cooled, they solidified again. So I'm, I just added some water and I think they'll melt into a syrup eventually. And then my idea is if those marsh, those things right now become marshmallows, I'll inject some of the syrup to make them squirters. That's the last component. And I just need it to work. Okay, let's, let's just face it. If it doesn't work, it's going on there anyway, and it might just be a puddle. But, um, hi, hi, it's Diana. And I'm about to put Max's and Ruby's cake together. It's a long time coming. Um, so I'm very excited. Max is first. Isn't this just a cake adventure? I'm frosting Max's cake and totally embracing the messiness. So the ganache is not probably as the right temperature um, and still stiff, but I thought, you know, it's supposed to be a mug cake. Plus, even if it were a chocolate cake that Max made, I bet he'd use his fingers, knowing Max. So my hands are super clean, but I'm kind of using my fingers. I'm not freaking out if the um, cake gets a little torn by the icing and um, it looks a right mess. If I were trying to make a very smooth cake, I would be very displeased. But as far as making a max cake, um, right now I'm, I'm having a great time. It also smells really good. Halfway there, I have Max's cake. It looks awful. <laughs> okay, but it looks like maybe a kid did it and would be so proud. I've got the Red Hot Marshmallow Squirters. They are my crowning achievement. Um, and then some Royal Icing Caterpillars for the Caterpillar Icing. And some Gummy Worms for the earthworm cake. <gasps> oh my god. It's a triumph. I have no idea who's going to eat it. Okay, Ruby's cake. Ruby's cake was supposed to be a little more refined and I used a cake stand as opposed to a plate. Um, and it's very pink. It's got the pink stars, I mean, the pink hearts, buttercream roses, silver stars. The fluff icing didn't fluff so well. I think that's my fault for as adding raspberry juice to the thing. I have no idea who's gonna eat two cakes in my house of two people. <laughs>